Hello, my friends. Welcome back to another episode of Bloodborne with Minotaurus BLT. So, there's something I'm looking to possibly buy. That thing that I'm looking to possibly buy, the Ribis Nimba, the thing I'm looking to possibly buy is uh, Ludwig's Holy Blade. I don't know if we're going to be able to get enough. Ah, uh, I'm not sure. I'm not sure we're going to be able to get enough Blood Echoes to buy it. But I will try. I think we need like 10,000. Ooh. Baby, come on, baby, come on, baby. Balls. <laughs> we still need like 3,000 more. All right, that's fine. So today we're going to go to one of my very favorite places. One of my very, very favorite places. Out of all the zones in this game, I think that the Forgotten Woods... Forgotten or Forbidden? I forget if it's Forgotten or Forbidden. Uh, the I, I think it's Forbidden. Yeah, the, the Forbidden Woods. The Forbidden Woods and Hemwick are probably two of my very favorite zones in this game. And today we're going to go to Hemwick. Because of reasons. There, there's some good stuff in Hemwick. There's some very good stuff in Hemwick. Uh, also, and that, that's not really the reason that I like it so much. I like Hemwick... Uh, okay, you, you gotta get your brain into the right mode here. I played a whole bunch of Absolver last night, and I, my brain's like, Oh, you gotta press all these other buttons that you don't actually have to press. I'm like, no, wait, brain, please don't do that. Hey, buddy. Rest assured, my brain will get back into the groove. In the groove. Shortly. Ooh. Oh, right. We have less insight because I bought stuff. Right. Um, there's actually a couple of uh, things that I should probably go check out at the inside shop. And I think we might actually be able to buy... To buy, to buy uh, blood shards at... Um, at our regular uh, Echoes shop. Ow. Dude, stop that. Son of a bitch. All right, yeah, give me them, give me them, give me them, them, them vials, them vials of goodness. All right, uh, yeah. No, I don't remember exactly how many points of insight we get when we use the the I cord. What's up, buddy? You want to just like bugger off and go away? Cool, because I would very much like to run by your ass. Oh fuck. Wait, is it down here? Wait, no, it's up here. Hey, buddies. Goodbye. So, Hemwick. Hemwick, Hemwick, Hemwick. Hemwick is a really cool zone. Um, this is the area where we found the eyeball. And, uh, oh, uh, uh, one of y'all, uh, uh, Waji was asking me if uh, we're going to be doing the, uh, the, chalice, the Chalice Dungeons, and the answer to that is very yes. Uh, or just yes, if you want to, you know, say it correctly. Um, so... What are the Chalice Dungeons? The Chalice Dungeons are like... Almost like Diablo-style dungeons. Oh. Okay, now we run into, like, the worst dogs that have ever been made. Hello, dog. You wanna, like... Yeah, get shot in the ass. Come here. Yeah, these dogs are crazy. Do I not have pebbles on my bar? I don't have pe Why do I not have pebbles? Give me pebbles! Give me the freaking pebbles. There we go. I knew, oh, I knew I was having problems this morning when I started uh, started playing, and I accidentally used a fire paper. Oh, Bullet Man is upset. Ooh, Bullet Man is upset. No. Yeah, this area is a little is a little crazy. Um, oh fuck! Ow! Hello, bullet man. Goodbye, bullet man. This is also the first area we're gonna get uh, a taste of some of the um, shards of uh, some of the crazier. <laughs> Maybe not crazier, but like they are crazy, but like they're they don't look crazy. They look like people. Ooh, people. They look like people. They are people, sort of. Um, but crazy is in like they are mad with power or mad with blood or whatever. See, we hear more people shooting. There's a lot of dudes with guns in this place. It's just dudes with guns and dogs. That's all this place is. 
Oh, fuck. Damn, right behind this. Under the choir. Okay, so we got too many pebbles, I guess. Oh, fuck. That is a big firing line of dudes. Um, do we have Molotovs? I thought we did. We do. Alrighty. I don't know what that was. Was that a dog? I thought I heard a dog. There we go, there we go, there we go. Oh. Okay, two of them down. Somebody. Is he behind me? He is behind me. Two of them. Two of them, in fact. Hey! Stop that. I don't like that. Get out of here. Oh, fuck. He's got a saber. God damn it. Mm hmm. The, one of the nice things about this area is that you can get a, sh a shitload of bullets. All right, now let's get all these goodies. Bone marrow ash, very nice. Thick cold blood. Cold blood. S uh, so, a lot of the times, like, when I really like an area, it's not because of the loot you can get, because I always forget what the hell is there. I just, like, a lot of the times it's because I like the enemies, or I like the, the way that the level's designed. And in the case of... God damn it. I just, I want to get this out of the world. Fuck. Okay, you know what? More pebbles, please. Thank you. Um, so, in the case of the for, uh, Forbidden Woods, I really like the way that the level's designed. Even though it's incredibly confusing to me, I don't know what it is. I just really like that area. And I think it's because even though it's... Um, and you'll see it when we get to it eventually. Uh, it, even though it's basically designed as like a big, long... Not, not, exa ah, fuck. not exactly a flat plane. In fact, it's not a flat plane at all. I don't want to die here. Ow. Fucking dog. As a note, I don't hate dogs. I just, like, I actually like dogs. Ah, I just don't like these dogs. As you can see, they're horrible. Ugh. God damn. Whew. Ooh, there's still a sh uh, shooty man. Where's the shooty man? Where's the shooty man? Shooty man down here? Is that it? Shooty man down here? Where's shooty man? I heard you. You shot. You opened fire. Where? Where far out there, shooty man? Hey! Hey, you stupid, where are you? Mm. Oh, there's Shooty Man. Shooty Man. Get, get chopped. Oh, or just missed. Give me goodies. Thank you. So now, I'm thinking... There, there's a couple things... Uh, not wrong with what I'm doing here, but... Uh, a couple things that aren't really... As efficient as we could be, I guess. So, the Kirk Hammer... Uses... Or it makes much better use of our strength stat than the axe does. Okay, so now we're in Hemwick. Hemwick Charnel Lane. And now we have enough to go buy Ludwig's Holy Blade, which I would very much like to do. Now, one thing of note, I don't remember if the... I don't think that when you uh, when you put a an elemental rune or an elemental gem into a weapon that it gets rid of all the other scaling that you have. I think it only adds arcane. I don't think it actually takes away other types of scaling. Why can I not 
Oh, it's 20,000. So I can't buy it because I'm a moron. Um, what else do we have here? We've got Ludwig's rifle. Oh, we should act, okay. We should read a lot of this. Oh, the tomb prospectors. Ooh, yeah. Okay, we got to read this anyway. A tire of tomb prospectors who explored the old labyrinth on behalf of the Healing Church. The Healing Church traces its roots to Bergenworth, and is therefore aware of the runes' true importance. They contain much more than mere hunter trinkets, indeed. Uh, or indeed, they hide the very secrets of the old great ones, sought after by those with the insight to, uh, to imagine greatness. And the rest of these are all the same. All right, we should also read uh, some of these other items here. Such as uh, Ludwig's rifle, a rifle typically used by the by healing church hunters. And as a note, this is actually the weapon that we saw. Um, oh, what the hell's his name? Christ, Alfred. Right, this is the weapon that we saw Alfred using uh, against uh, Bloodstarved Beast. It is said that this rifle was employed by Ludwig, the first hunter of the church. Its long, heavy barrel makes up in uh, makes up in range for what it lacks in reload speed. Ludwig's rifle exhibits several departures from the workshop's design, suggesting that the church anticipated much larger inhuman beasts. We've already read the rest of these. Uh, we should also read the Holy Blade. Trick weapon typically used by healing church hunters. It is said that the silver sword was employed by Ludwig, the first hunter of the church. When transformed, it combines with its sheath to form a great sword. The Healing Church Workshop began with Ludwig and departed from old Garman's techniques to provide hunters with the means to hunt more terrifying beasts and perhaps things still worse. So Ludwig's Holy Blade is freaking awesome. Uh, it's It basically transforms into a, a greatsword. Uh, it's a longsword that transforms into a greatsword. Much like the, uh, the Kirk Hammer essentially transforms into a um, uh, like a great hammer. Uh... We should probably beef up the Kirk Hammer just in case. Just in case. I mean, I don't see why not. We're not really going to be using the shards for much else. I know. Well, we can we can beef up the torch, and the, the, it's it's not it's not um it's not not worth it to beef up the torch. Uh, we've also got some other gems, didn't we? Okay, these aren't really going to help us. None of these are really going to help. Oh, no, that's the one we've already got. Okay. Um, what is this? Charge tax. HP continues to recover. Uh, wait a minute. Mm, okay. There. I think this is the gem we want. Um, even though this one beefs up the blunt attack a lot more, um, which is great for the hammer, there's a sword aspect to it that we would also want to take advantage of at some point. Um, the only problem is like we don't have enough twin shards to really do a lot of beefing up of things. Let's also purchase some more fire paper. Yes. We love fire paper. Uh, let us also purchase... Uh, let's purchase some more Molotovs. And yes, that, mean, that means we're going to have more than we can actually have on our person at one time, and that's fine. Um, because the rest of it will just go into storage and we'll just keep it for later. Alright. Back to the land of the crazy people. Hear that? You're all out laughing? These psychopaths all just like dancing around? Yeah, we see her too. Hello. Ow. Alright. So, all these crazy ladies. Oh, this is. I think this is actually one of the areas that has one of my very favorite lines in the game. I don't know why I like it so. Oh, you fucker. I don't know why I like it so much. I mean, it's a, it, it's a it's a cool line, but I don't know why it just like sticks in my mind as one of my very favorites. Ooh, Jesus! Let's see. Is it over this way? I think it is. Maybe. Hello. 
Oh, fuck. Alright, well. MVP fence. F fence VP? Alright, yeah. So you can only really get, like, two good hits off of the axe before... Ah, yes, this is it. Uh, uh, before your, um... Like, you can only get two post-death regain hits with the axe. Did you hear the graveyard murmurs? Then it's almost time. Oh, I can't wait. I just can't wait. <laughs> I don't know why, I just fucking love that line. Madman's knowledge. Excellent. Probably not gonna use that just yet. Yeah, we can't we can't use this device. That is gonna be a shortcut eventually. Don't you worry. Uh hmm. Is it this way? Yeah, yeah, yeah. More loot, more loot. Ooh, twin shards. Very nice. That's the shit right there. So th that's another good reason to come here anyway. Oh, more bloodshot eyeballs. Um, is, uh... Korea, can we go up this way? No. Um, another good reason to come here is that you c Hi. You can, um, you can get some really good upgrade materials. Hey, would you fucking cut it out? Thank you. Get out of here, scum. Alright. Uh, okay, first off... No, that's not it. That's also not it. Um, hang on a second. God damn it. We want to put our monocular on this slot. Oh, fuck. Okay, well, uh, there's a dog. Um, hey, dog. Come here. Just look at all the freaking barbs and shit sticking out of this dog, man. Fuck that shit. Do not torture your doggos. There, there she is. We want to watch out for her. She's a pain. You'll see... Yeah, see, she throws Molotovs. And then... Oh! Hammer lady. Also known as Donkey Crone. Ooh, Bloodstone Gems. Where you at? Where you at? There was a lady with a with a, a, a fiery pokey. There you go. Is that a what is that? It's like a hoe that's been modified to be like stabby. I don't like that. I don't like that. <laughs> like what have you done to this this poor hoe? Alrighty. Oh, hello, brick man. I want to say that... Oh! I want to say that gateway leads to somewhere... One of the later... Or it leads to essentially a shortcut to one of the later zones in the game. Oh. Ow, fucker! Freaking jerk ass. More twin shards. This is the shit right here, man. This is the shit. Now, if I recall correctly, later on there are dogs that will actually drop twin shards, I think. I could be incorrect about that. I always miss the running attacks. I need to remember that the, the, the axe is slightly slower than everything else in terms of attacks like that. See, like, there's a bigger wind-up when you attack. Whereas, uh, if I remember right, we go to... No, not... Uh, yes, this. Yeah, th this one is very fast. Yeah. The, uh, the axe is not quite as quick as the other weapons, but, I mean, it's also got very good strength scaling, and it does a lot of damage base. I think it's actually got the highest base damage out of all the starting weapons. Ah! Ooh, camera, why? Ow. What a dick! Hey, stop that. Yeah. The axe also has a really nice moveset, and the fact that you can transform it and get some stupid range is really nice. Hey, Crow. I see you. Now, granted, if I had been beefing up our strength a little bit more than, than our arcane, you know, th than going over to our arcane, we probably would be killing those crows in one hit. And that's... Ooh, that's fine. Oh, I think there's actually a docile crow in here. Yeah, there's one that doesn't really attack you. But it's, like, impossible to show, because usually the crows just jump out... You know, you gotta kill them all, like, at once. You know what I'm saying? 
Hey, attack me, bro. Yeah, I'll, I'll show you. I think there's actually one other one in the game as well, but I don't remember where it is. See this crow right here. Ugh. This crow will never attack us. See? Hey, crow. What's up, dude? Oh, that one will, though. Forget about you. Crows, man. I just, I want this. I cannot believe that I have bought so many pebbles. For fuck's sake. Return to your brethren with the rocks. Thank you. Here, I believe this is... Yeah, th this will not be operable. Yeah, this is not operable because of that, right. So I think this actually goes to the... Yeah, to this. This is where we were earlier. See, this is where we first came in. This is where the Midnight Murmurs Lady is. The one who just can't wait. What the fuck? Is that wood? That looks like wood. Weird that they, instead of having actual bodies, they'd, like, carve a corpse out of wood, you know? Alright, so we'll go back up and then we'll send this back down. In the meantime, we will jab ourselves in the leg with a healy thing. Alright. Uh, yeah, you don't want to go... <laughs> no textures, great. Hello, lady. You! Hey. Ow! I was almost positive that you could actually parry her when she... There, there's an attack she does that basically has, like, a super long attack animation. Because it carries her forward super far. At some point I'm going to use the Bone Marrow Ash and I'll show you guys what, why, why it's so good. Hey, big man. Yo. I fucked it. Oh, shit. He killed Winch. Okay. Now, we're going into a dark place, so we want this torch. I forget, are you... Yeah, you're, you're totally a thing. Friggin' rotten horses and shit. It's gross. It's gross! Ooh! I forgot about you! You're a dog, you should not be clawing. Which makes me think that they're like... Oh yeah, the twin shards. Which makes me think they're like part dog, part like... Giant, angry cat. Also, okay, let's back up for a second. I love how you can see the steam coming off the hay. I love it. I love the attention to detail in these games. I mean, yeah, sometimes there's things that they miss. But I still love the attention to detail for the most part. Uh, there's somebody that wants to ambush my ass down here, I'm almost certain. Also, there's these. This, this stairway. Go across and do not fall. Or you will be very sad. Be a very sad boy. Oh, it's you with the pistol instead of a minigun or a, or a, a, a chain gun, rather a Gatling gun, or a, uh, a what you call it? The other thing that you guys usually have. Ooh, a depth bloodstone gem. Uh, flamethrower. Madman's knowledge, very nice. I am avoiding using the Madman's knowledge for now because um, I don't remember. There's there's an enemy that you fight as a part of a boss fight that can show up just normally here, and I don't want them to be here. Uh, because they are big, nasty, and can do a lot of damage very quickly. They're slow, but they can do a lot of damage very, very quickly. They're just, they're very dangerous. And uh, if you have too much insight, I believe they can actually show up here normally, which is unpleasant. All right. We're on the roofs. We gotta be careful. <laughs> the other thing about these uh, these ladies is that they can uh, they can push you very far. They actually have attacks where all they do is push you. Like, if I remember right, Donkey Crone here actually has a, a pushing attack that is very unfortunate to deal with. What's 
So having a little bit of range is not a bad idea. But also, there are dogs, which, as we know, are also a giant pain in the ass. Hey, you. Come here. Very good. We just gotta be careful. Just gotta be careful. So we got Crazy Lady. We also... What the hell? Okay, well, I'll take it. Uh, we also have Brick Man. What, what is going on? Why are things just randomly dying? Hey. Come here. Brick bag. Let's go. Oh, fuck. Now the crazy lady's coming. We gotta finish him off. Ooh. So now we got dogs. Okay, the dogs have not found us yet. I do. Yeah, there's shit down there too. This uh This area can get very rough. There's a lot of there's a lot of times like this is one of these areas that you really want to take slowly. You don't want to try to rush through. Ow, fucking asshole. I shouldn't try to parry them. I should not be trying to shoot them. It's a bad idea. You, on the other hand, are very shootable. You, lady with the... Wait, do you have any more dogs? I don't see dogs, so that's something. Oh, shit. Alright, well, I'm going to have to deal with her later. More twin shards. fan freaking tastic. Uh, yeah, she, it, <laughs> she is like, she will totally come out and just like jab you in the eyeballs with her weird ass weapons. I think she, I think that character, that, that, that the particular, particular enemy is holding like a spear or something, or not a spear, a uh, sickle. Okay. We also have uh, one of my most hated enemies because I always have trouble parrying these guys for some reason. And parrying is, without a doubt, the way to deal with them. Let's see if some way to deal with them at, at range, which we might if I do this. Where's my bone marrow ash? Oop, passed it. This shit is going to do a lot of damage. Keep in mind, our pistol is not very highly upgraded either. And the pistol is not meant to be a, a high damage weapon. It's mostly meant just for parries and also fucking up dogs because we hate dogs. Uh, it, well, we hate the dogs in this game. We didn't piss off any, did we? No, we didn't. Yeah, see, it does a lot more damage, huh? Oh, fuck. Ooh. What? Oh! These guys hit like fucking trucks. Oh shit! Oh no. Oh, I hate these enemies. I hate them. <laughs> we should actually make some blood bullets. Hey, you. I cannot believe that does so little damage. That's crazy. Don't come over here, dog. You stay the fuck away from me. Ow. I think I... The problem that I have with these guys is I always shoot too early.
Or too late, in some cases. Come on, attack me, you fucker. Attack me! Yeah, see, you got you got really got to be like right up in there. Fuck. You know what? Oh. You know what? Fuck this. There. This is the way I think I'm going to deal with these fuckers from now on. Oh, that bloodstone gem. Very nice. Because, uh, man. <laughs> fuck them and their giant axes. I hate them. And I think I mentioned this before, but uh, one of the reasons that we want that we like Arcane is um, not only does it allow us to do elemental weapons that are super cool, but also... Fuck. But also, uh, Arcane actually affects your item discovery. And will cause you to find items more frequently. No more. Oh, fuck, there's another one. Whoo, boy. <laughs> All right. Let's get all the goodies that are down here, please. Bone Marrow Ash, very nice. Now, uh, granted, Bone Marrow Ash is much better on certain other weapons, and you'll you'll probably see which ones I'm talking about later. Come here, dog. No? Oh, fuck. Dog. Dog, come here. Dog the Bounty Hunter. Ooh! Oh, ho, 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 ho. You jerk. Hey, stop that. Whew, truth be told, I'm kind of, uh... No, you know what, I shouldn't say anything, because I don't know if we're actually out of enemies yet. Um, I'm kind of surprised that I've made it this far without dying. Because normally I don't. Oh, fuck, of course, now there's this. Don't like this. <laughs> Please stop. I, I hate this. Okay. Th this is this is going to drive me nuts. Slowly, slowly, slowly. Lake Rune. Turn around, run away. Okay. Oof. Oh. Okay. A Kel rune that transcribes inhuman sounds. This transcription of the Great One's inhuman voices ripples like a watery reflection. This rune means lake, and those who memorize it enjoy reduced physical damage. Great volumes of water serve as a bulwark guarding sleep, and an augur of the Eldritch Truth. Overcome this hindrance and seek what is yours. So now, we've got all these runes, but we can't use them, right? And there's a reason for that. Um, and part of the reason for that is uh, why we're here. There's a, a there's an item that you can get here that allows you to actually equip those runes. And the runes are basically like your rings from other Souls games. So, like, you got... I, I think it's two slots? Is it two or three? I forget if it's two or three in uh, Bloodborne. Um, but you've got a, a small number of slots that you can use to equip things. Yeah, see that motherfucker over there? And then we got these ladies coming down. It's no good. It's no good. So we gotta wait. We gotta wait. Because if I remember right, if we go too far up, this guy will actually come out and wreck our face. You see him, right? He's like... Right in between the two little... Oop, fuck. It's like right in between the two little hoobuses of our hat. Little, like, fins. Hey! Come here. One of you. Yep, there he goes. Here he comes. Wait, what, where the hell are you going, dude? Hey! Oh, fuck. There we go. Mm. That was the long attack that I was talking about. Where did he... He's up there now. Why are you up there? I don't, I don't get it. Alright, well, anyway, there's a treasure chest over here. Uh, 
with a bloodstone gem, which is nice. A triangular bloodstone gem, which means it can actually go into our hammer. I don't remember if there's any other loot up here, but we, I know that we... Unfortunately, we have to deal with this piece of garbage. We, I don't... Can we sneak up on your ass? Kind of hoping so, because then I'm going to do a charged attack and fucking wreck your face. Oh, shit. Okay. Give me goodies. Thank you. All right. It's boss time. Wait, what? Hey, come here. Two twin shards. Very nice. Okay. Just take a quick drink of water before we proceed. Excellent. Delicious. Ah, uh, okay. May not be the best way to handle this. Going in right now. Um, this boss fight is really weird. Well, I shouldn't say it's weird. Uh, actually, you know what? Get this bone marrow wash off my bar. Also, whoop, no, no. God damn it. Also the pebbles. So, there are two witches. Oh, fuck. In this place. And that demon that she summoned over there. Oh, there she is. So, she will go invisible and also disappear. Like... Get backstabbed, you son of a bitch. Now, I know it says the Witch of Hemwick right there. It doesn't say there are two of them. It says there is one. There's a reason. There are actually two. And I think I just saw the other one. So that demon, if it finds us, will follow us around and try to kill us. Oh... Yeah, stay away, stay away, stay away. You don't want to get close to that shit. Um, there's a couple ways you can do this. One is... you. Where'd she go? She was here. Oh, fuck. You gotta avoid these demons, though, because these guys will fuck up your life. Um, if you kill one witch and leave the other one alive, it will resurrect the one that you killed. I think with, like, half-life? Oh, there she is. I think this is the second one. Yes. Maybe. Yes, it is. This is the one that we probably want to kill first. Okay, I don't know where she's at. Which is kind of... I think she's... Okay, I think I saw where she is, but she's over by that demon, which means I can't really deal with her right now. Uh, fuck. Y'all are closing in on me. I don't like that. I don't like that at all. They will lose sight of you, though. I don't... Oh, fuck. Stay away. Stay away. Stay away. I saw the witch, but we can't really approach... I don't want to approach her with the demon so close. I also don't... Oh, which one are you? Oh, it's both. Oh, fuck. Okay, this is risky, but we're doing it anyway. Because we need to make these witches dead. Oh, fuck. Yeah, this thing is going to chase us. Yeah, see? It knows. It knows. No. You can't. You won't. I won't let you. You were up here. I just saw your ass. Hey, witch. Where'd you go? Now, you do need to be careful because there is a, a, a move that they do that's very devastating. Okay, not this one. This one. Are you dead? Oh, fuck. See, they do a lot of damage. Where are you? Where are you? Oh, God. I, I really like this boss fight quite a bit. Yes! No! Avoid! 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 Yes! Okay, we got them both. Oh, okay. Excellent. Go away, demon. Yes, I was going to say, you should be dead now. Thank you. Alright, so we got a lamp. Very nice. Let's light this. 
Boop. All right, cool. Now, let's also proceed down to here. And we, now we actually have enough to buy Ludwig's Holy Blade, which is great. Then we open this. And then... Lots of jars and stuff, right? So, these witches are basically prying up people's eyes. Which is, I'm assuming, what happened to this poor hunter. Rude workshop tool. And again, is it is he a poor hunter? I don't know. I'm not sure. I'm not so sure. Rune Smith Carroll, student of Bergenworth, transcribed the inhuman, inhuman, yes, inhuman utterings of the Great Ones into what are now called Carroll runes. The hunter who retrieves this workshop tool can etch Carroll runes into the mind to attain their wondrous strength. Provost Willem would have been proud of Carroll's runes, as they do not rely upon blood in any measure. So, a hint that maybe the blood wasn't really actually what people, what was originally intended to be used. And actually, um, there, <laughs> the last episode, I should have mentioned this much earlier, but the last episode, and, and uh, another thing to keep in mind, all these, all these episodes you're seeing now uh, are pre-recorded, like, actually, they're all basically pre-recorded, but um, the, the next bunch of episodes, like, you guys, please feel free to comment, but uh, I may not be able to see what you comment. Uh, for quite some time, because I will be gone for about two weeks. Uh, anywho, let's buy Ludwig's Holy Blade. Um, there is a cutscene that I basically fucked up not looking at uh, in the Amelia area, so we're going to go there. Uh, we're going to repair our stuff. Okay. And then fortify our stuff. Let's see. Five shards. And three shards. Hmm. Certainly, yes. Just a little bit more. Just a little bit more. Let's see what the inside shop has. Wait. Nothing? Well, you've got the eyeballs, but that's it. All right, well. Poopy. Super poopy. Uh, should I bother with the cleaver? Mm. Ah, this is going to get a triangle room, which is so good. We we definitely want... Yeah, let's, let's do the saw cleaver, because we definitely want this thing to be higher level. So that we can pop some better runes into it. Same thing with the Holy Blade, actually. Um, now, Blood Gem Fortification. We got some new Blood Gems, from what I recall. Okay, nothing especially great. Wait, what? Oh, that's, okay, right, that's the rune we're currently using. Um, yeah, none of these are especially great. Uh, what about you? You don't have any... Oh, you can put triangle gems. Uh, what about you? Can I put triangle gems in you? I don't think so. No. Kirk, ha Kirk Hammer, I can put triangle things in you. Yes. So wait, right now we've got... Okay, HP continues to recover, but we can put that in there. Then add slow poison effect. That's pretty great. That's pretty great. How about this one? We didn't get any new... Things for this, did we? No, we did not. All right. Now, as a note, that thrust damage on the Kirk Hammer, I think, is actually useful because you do have a thrust attack with the sword. Uh, and we should also level if well, we can. What is it? Oh, Farewell, um, good hunter. what do we need for skill to use the Holy Blade? I do not recall. Oh, and I figured out what it is, uh, what button it is you have to press to get what I wanted, which was R3. We can look at what all the different things are here. Yeah, th this this is what I had meant to be looking for earlier. I believe, yeah, we need 12 skills. We should beef up our skill just a little Welcome. bit. Welcome, what is it? Very well, let Skill. Okay, we're almost there. All right. Let's use the rest of our stuff. Uh, we've got 55, 57. Um... Oh, okay, so I can... Well, I can buy regular shards, eh? We should just keep buying regular shards. Hmm. 
No, I, I know I know myself. I'm going to use way more blood vials than anything else. So real quick, uh, we got to go Cathedral Ward. Actually, we need to go to the Cathedral Ward anyway, right? Uh, because the next area we're going to is... Well, I'll think about it as we are going there because I still need to do this anyway. Okay, I actually forgot something, and through the magic of editing, y'all don't have to wait. I did, but you don't. Uh, right. That is not what I forgot. What I forgot was that we now have this rune tool. So now we're going to grab some runes on our old dome piece. Memorize a carol rune to acquire its eldritch strength. So, we can have more blood vials, we can have more quicksilver bullets, we can have more blood echoes from visceral attacks, we can have uh, physical damage reduction, and we can have temporary boost to transform plus 20. Um, transformation, I believe they actually changed it some time ago to be better than what it was. So we're going to have that. Then we're going to have more blood echoes from visceral attacks. And duh, 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 duh. let's have more quicksilver bullets. Um, and then we can't actually use this last one. This last one is uh, uh, covenant specific, basically. Or what is basically this game's version of covenants. Which, by the way, if you've never heard Covenant, the band... Or the group, the, the music people, you totally should. Covenant is great. Uh, I forget. We don't... Which is abode. No. No, no. Okay. We we still want Cathedral Ward, right? No, it's not the Church of the Good Chalice. No, no, no. Uh, where's the Grand Cathedral? I don't think so. I think it's... Uh, well, if it's not, then I'll through the magic of editing, I will bring us back to where it is that we need to be. Okay, it was actually the right place. Excellent. This is what I forgot last time. Master Willem, I've come to bid you farewell. Oh, I know, I know. You think now to betray me. No. But you will never listen. I tell you, I will not forget our adage. We are born of the blood. Made men by the blood. Undone by the blood. Our eyes are yet to open. Fear the old blood. I must take my leave. Interesting that touching this big old beastie skull gives us uh, a memory from Lawrence or Willem, huh? Also, fear the old blood. Fear the old blood. Uh, should we... Uh, let's think about this. No, we can actually get down to where it is that I want to go from here, I believe. Uh, rather easily. Maybe not rather easily, but with, with some ease. We just have to go past the, these frenzy fuckers. Goodbye, frenzy fucker. Goodbye. Yeah, he's right there. Go get him. Hey, Axe Man. Hello, other crazies. Blah, blah. Goodbye. Also, goodbye. Notice how it's a lot darker? Time progresses as you get to different locations in this game, which I think is really cool. Uh, is it that way that we want to go? I think it is. Ooh! Oh, fuck, there's dogs. Or is it this way? Fuck. Uh, well, first off, let's let's make Doggo go away. Hello, Doggo. You are you coming? Hey, Doggo. Dog. Doge. Hey. No. Yeah, get out of here. Oh fuck. Yeah, I'm not dealing with your ass. We're out of here. See you later, butthole. All right. Uh, ah, oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, it's you. I forgot about you. 
No, I thought I had him. Well, there goes two of our inside points. <sighs> Fucking asshole. Get flamed, son. Oh, shit. Oh, fuck. Yeah, get wrecked, you dick. Oh. I used to be so much better at killing those things. I promise you. I don't know what it is that has caused me to be such uh, such utter trash at killing them. Uh. Oh, fuck. Right, we don't want to do that. Um. Is it back here? I do not recall where it is that we need to be. We're looking for the place with where the guy was like, Ah, the password! The password! Give me the password! The password. There it is. <laughs> okay, okay, that's enough. Fear the old blood. Already dead. And we got a madman's knowledge for it. Great. So, how was he speaking? <laughs> that is the real question, is it not? Alright, give, give me them pebbles. Mmm, pebbles. I probably could have actually used fire paper against the witches, but you know what? That's fine. We, we didn't really need to. I don't think. Um, is there any loot down here? I don't think so. No. Now, I'm pretty sure this is where we should be going next. I, it, I, it, the thing is, I'm having trouble remembering exactly how it is that I used to go through the game. I believe this is it, though. Yep, the Forbidden Woods. Ah, yes. Loot. Give unto me the loot. So, once we find a lamp, I will be more than happy to begin going after the Chalice Dungeons. I think this is actually a good time, like, th this would be a good time to head into one of them. Quite frankly. Hello, big man. I swear there's a lamp around here somewhere, goddammit. Hey! Mmm. Doesn't feel very good, does it? No, it does not. Oh, twin shards. Yes. Okay. This is a note to... Uh, or something to keep very much in mind here. Um, there are enemies that throw oil, and the oil will cause problems for you big time. Um, because there are fires, and if you touch the fires after being coated in oil, you'll have a really bad time. This is actually one of the longest zones in the game, from what I remember. Yeah, so you got weird-ass little fire right there. Weird-ass little fire right there. I don't recall where the lamps are in this area. I know there is one, though. Oh, fuck. I hate you. Please don't come near me, though. You know what? Handle him the way that you said you were going to. Ow. Oh, no, no, I didn't mean to do a third one. Fuck. Ooh, Jesus. Fuck. I hate it. I hate these guys so much. Oh, that's why. Ugh. These executioners are just the fucking worst. So, Yosefka's blood vial. 
this goes back to what I was speaking about much earlier, where the woman that's in Yosefka's clinic isn't really Yosefka. Uh, there is... Originally, there's another person there, and when you speak to her, uh, she will give you her blood. But the one that's there now will not. And if I remember right, her blood and uh, Ariana's blood do similar things. Not the same, but they do similar things. Blar, he's right there, yes. He's also right there, oh no. Hi, dog, I saw you. Goodbye, Axe Man. I tell you it was a pleasure, but it wasn't. I want it. Oh, hey, Alfred. What's up, dude? Oh, good to see you safe. Now, let's think up something to discuss. Just tell me what piques your interest. Ah, there's something I want to tell you. A bit of wisdom from the eminent master Lugarius. Once, a scholar betrayed his fellows at Bergenworth, and brought forbidden blood back with him to Canehurst Castle. It was there that the first of the inhuman vile bloods was born. The vile bloods are fiendish creatures who threaten the purity of the church's blood healing. The ruler of the vile bloods is still alive today. And so, to honor my master's wishes, I search for the path to Canehurst Castle. We already talked about this other crap, I'm pretty sure. As you know, well, I'm... Yep, okay. So that's the only new I thing, really. Farewell. May the good blood gut. All right. Let's go get our, our, I almost said souls, our blood echoes back, shall we? And hopefully not die. <laughs> I freaking hate those executioner guys. I just I'm so bad at parrying them. The brick the brick dudes, they're they're not bad. They're okay, I guess. I just I really hate these freaking these freaking scumbags with their giant axes. I mean, you'd think being an orc lover that I would love them, but no, no, these guys are not orcs. They're just big fat jerks. Big fat jerks. That's what they are. Now, this area has, like, a lot of twists and turns. Um, so there is a... Uh, you know what? We should probably wait for him to come up here. Yeah. Come here, dude. Come to me, please. Mmm! Get ruined, son. Alright. Uh, there was just loot up here, right? Yeah, it was just loot and it didn't lead us to anything else. There's Oil Man... Hello, oil man. Actually... Fuck it. Well, he got me. You got me. Congratulations, you prick. Wait, is it? Oh, those are echoes? Those are echoes. Alright, good. Just, you know, don't touch any of the fires, because you'll die. Or at least you'll be, like, really upset with yourself. You know what else might actually help against this piece of garbage? I don't remember how susceptible to poison they are, but we'll see. You're blocking. You piece of shit. Oh, fuck. Ow. No. I refuse. Did you just give me a well what is it, you piece of shit? Fuck off. Well, what is it? Don't you dare. Don't you dare. Alright. This cave... I do not recall what is within, but we shall get it, whatever it is. Madman's knowledge. 
And a dead bloodstone gem. Excellent. Now, uh, there's actually like a numbering system on these gems that tells you basically what the rank of the gem is. Um, it, it's kind of a poopy naming system, but I mean, it's it's okay. Uh, it, it serves its purpose. It just, it, you know, it's kind of like, oh, it, it's it, kind of the same thing with the blood, uh, the blood dew. Like, oh, okay, well, blood dew, one, two, three, all right, well. <laughs> it's not very lore heavy, is it? Uh, yeah, I think we got to go left. Which makes sense, considering we just went right and there was really nothing. There's the lamp. There it is. All right. So we pop this lamp. Uh, I believe there's actually loot around here somewhere. Oh, there's crows as well. Die, crow. Yes. Antidotes. Oh, right. Okay. Put that on the bar, certainly. Uh... Well, anyhow, so that's going to do it for this episode, folks. Hope you all did enjoy it. And uh, next time we're going to be hitting up some of the Chalice Dungeons. But, uh, like I said, I hope you all enjoyed this episode. And if you did, you know what to do. That is going to be it for me, Notorious BLT. Hope you all have a fantastic day. And I'll catch you all next time. Bye-bye, folks.